Hey, what's going on guys? It's the Home Cooking Hunter and today I'm bringing you another product review. So the Zare family with Tastely Dumb Marinades contacted me and asked me if I'd be up for trying their marinade. Well, I went online and read some reviews and after reading the reviews, there was no way that I was gonna say no. Another thing that really drew me into this marinade is that it's a secret family recipe that was created by hunters for hunters. This stuff is good for all sorts of wild game like moose, elk, bear, antelope, deer, and you can even use it on beef if you wanted to. So the Zare family sent me two jars. And like I always say, guys, I'm never going to give you a blind review. I have tried this and let me tell you, if I had not liked it, you guys would not be seeing this right now. So I got about half a jar of their original right here. And guys, this is just an all around unique marinade. It's different from anything I've ever really tried. It's got some, some just different ingredients. For one, it's got the brown sugar, sweet cream milk, apple cider vinegar, you know, salt, lard. Uh, the lard in this was the cool aspect. This is one of the only marinades that adds actual fat to it. And what's unique about that is that once you marinate this and put it in the refrigerator, the, the, the fat's going to solidify on the meat and when you cook it, it's going to act as a basting process for the meat itself. Um, it's really good and I'm going to tell you guys, you're going to enjoy it if you get it. A lot of times people will take their wild game, they'll soak it in buttermilk, salt, they'll do anything they can to try to take the game out of it and to tenderize it. They'll even brine some of the meat to try to help with the tenderizing process. What's great about this is this marinade does all of that for you. It breaks it down, the tough cuts, the things that you normally would be smashing with a tenderizer or brining to break it down, make it tender. This marinade does that for you. So that's another thing that I really like about the marinade itself. Now it comes in two different flavors. You've got the original with the gold cap and then you've got the spicy, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm anxious to try as well with the red cap. So you got two different elements there. If you don't like spicy stuff, you stick with the original. Okay, so to start off, the jar calls for three to four pounds of meat. I've got right under two pounds here and I've got right at half a jar of the marinade. So what the instructions call you to do, I've got venison. We're doing venison here today and it calls you to cut into quarter inch slices. I'm using a jerky slicing board which is gonna give me perfect quarter inch slices to show you guys the day. But what it does by cutting it into quarter inch slices is that allows the meat to really penetrate excuse me, that allows the marinade to really penetrate into these grooves of the meat here. It makes it an easier marinade process. Okay, so our next step is, is gonna be, we are going to take this and I'm going to warm this up. You can do this two ways. The instructions will tell you to use a pot, warm it up on the stove, but I'm gonna stick this jar straight in the microwave, but if you do that, be sure to take the cap off. You'll have a fireworks show if you don't. So I'm gonna pop this off. And let me show you this too. Look inside here. You can see all the fat. This is why we are going to be warming it up. We're gonna get all that fat that's in there to melt and blend to create a smooth texture to pour over the top of our meat. So warm us up, be right back. Okay, so that was about 30 seconds. Let me show you this real quick. Pretty sure that's gonna be good. You can see inside right there. You can see how it's gotten all liquidy. You don't see those chunks that we had anymore inside there. But you wanna make sure you stir everything up really well with this marinade because all the herbs and spices, they settle straight to the bottom on this stuff. So I'm gonna stir this up. All right guys, so I did it for about 30 seconds. Now, what you wanna do with this is you don't want this to be hot. You don't want this marinade to be so hot that when you pour it over your meat or when you dip your meat into it, that it's going to cook the meat. So that's why I just did 30 seconds, enough to just really get that stuff smooth and creamy and melted down. And I'm gonna do this like, like the old school way, like most everybody does their marinades, and I'm gonna do it in a bag. Okay. We've got our meat, we got our marinade. Now look, 
I will tell you this too. I can take my finger, stick it in there, and it's basically room temperature. All that goodness right there. I love marinating in a bag because I press all the air out and I can move all this stuff all around it and make sure that I know that everything's around the meat. So now that that's in there, when you read the instructions on this, it's gonna say four to five days. Don't let that alarm you. Now, if you're gonna be doing bear or a really sagey antelope, it's a real strong, pungent flavored meat, then you'll wanna do that four to five day marinating period. But we're just doing some Eastern whitetail and we're just gonna do two days on this. Two days is about all it's gonna take for this meat to really accept the flavor. The rest of the time, time period, if you do three, four days, is a tenderizing process and it is breaking down any type of you know wild game flavor that's going to be inside of that. So we're gonna do two days of this in the refrigerator. I'm gonna come back to you guys. We're gonna fry these bad boys up. I'm gonna let you know how it tastes. All right, so we are back. We are back to finish up our tastefully done marinade review steaks. You can see right here, guys, you can see all the fat that is congealed on top of it. That's gonna help when we cook this, this fat's going to melt and that's gonna help baste more flavor into these steaks. I got my cast iron skillet here. I got it preheating with just a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm just gonna drop these in to get them a good hard sear. Now I like to have a nice rare steak. So these only being a quarter inch thick, they're not gonna take very long to cook. So I'm only gonna cook mine about a minute to minute and a half per side. If you wanna do a good medium rare, get you about two, two and a half minutes per side. Well done, three, three and a half minutes per side on a medium, medium high heat. Okay, so one thing I wanna tell you too, while these are cooking, you when you pop open that bag that's been marinating for two to five days however long you decide to do it you're gonna get hit in the face with a pretty strong vinegar smell but don't let that put you off because i'm telling you that is what has gone through that's what put it through the process of tenderizing and preserving the meat while it's in that bag and it's going to add a lot of flavor to this i'm telling you it's, it's really good mm. I think we're ready to go. So I cooked them a little bit longer. I did about two minutes per side on there. Um, but with wild game for me, I like it more on the rare side. It's so lean anyways. Um, I like to always cook it just a little bit more rare than I would if I was to eat a beef steak, but I like this stuff, you know, practically alive <laughs> when I'm eating it anyways. So we got our tastefully done marinade steak here. Smells amazing, nice and tender. It smells sweet. Uh, I'm getting some real sweet smells out of it. I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this. You can tell there's this like glaze that's kind of come over it. It's got like a real, you can see this, this kind of thick, and I think there's, I know there's brown sugar in it, so I think that's kind of what that's coming from, but let's give it a shot. Mmm. Mm, mm, mm. That's freaking awesome. That's even better than the first time I tried it. Um, so tender. It's sweet, but you get this like a little bit of spice, like a peppery uh, back end on it. So it's kind of hearty. It's, it's like you get the sweet, savory steak, but you still get still hearty on the back end. And that vinegar smell that you got coming out of the marinade, it, barely even taste any of that in this. This is one of the best marinades I've ever had. And uh, <laughs> I'm kind of, a, kind of shocked by how good it is. Um, I have to eat another bite. Mm. And guys, this cut, excuse me. This cut of meat is a tough cut of meat. That's from the rear end of the deer. It's like that, uh, the, that sirloin type cut of meat. It's got a lot of fibers going through it and it is as tender as a backstrap. Not even kidding. So guys, if you like, if you wanna try this, tastefully done marinade, give it a shot. 
It is so good and delicious. I guarantee you, you're going to enjoy it. It's worth every bit of time and penny you put into it. I'm the Home Cooking Hunter, and thank you so much for watching this review on Tastefully Done Marinades.